Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I wanted to experiment with uh, MATLAB to, dem to showcase. It's been in MATLAB for a while, but at least two years. I'm using the current version of a MATLAB 2016A. Within a few days I'll be expecting the 2000B version to come out. But regardless, I just wanted to show you the capabilities of where MATLAB is in terms of uh, comparison, in terms of technical versus Python. Now, the idea here is to showcase how MATLAB will pretty well talk to anything, talks to .NET, Java, and C++. But here, it's fairly new for it to talk to Python. So I've got this MATLAB uh, chart here, and um, I'm gonna run it for you in my PyCharm. So this is in the PyCharm here, it's called Test Mat Plot Loop. So if I run it, um, you'll see it does some effects here, uh, well, at least in this one. But it, it pulls up two figures. Um, we'll close those. So those are working as is. Now, if you go into um, the Mat, MATLAB uh, documents, uh, there's a couple things that we can do to ensure we're running them. Um, I'll put these links in the and the uh, blog. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're running a correct version of, of Python. So in my case I'm running here uh, Python 2.7. Uh, I stay on 2.7 for just the reasons of, of learning Python. I don't want to really deal with a lot of bugs, be it my source code, be it Python itself, or be it a Python package. So I want to use the most mature path of Python, so that's why I use 2.7. Um, the next thing we got to do is basically navigate, now this is, as you can tell, this is MATLAB here, 2016A. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make sure we navigate to the proper folder where this uh, script is. So in this case, it's here. Um, if I do a PWD in my MATLAB, you'll see here, I, that's the folder. So there's a very simple command that we can run. It's part of the troubleshooting uh, right here. Is we're going to import the Py, uh, import it into a internal Python session of uh, MATLAB, and it's really the engine part, which is kind of cool actually. So we have here Py version. I just showed you. Um, so I'm going to load in this command here: Py import lib import module in the name of the uh, Python. Now, please understand there is a format you need to go through um, before you run this uh, here under test uh, matplotlib. I made a quick change to it. Um, here it just runs it as a script or as, a, as an executable or a demonstration. There's this definition here which is a function and the rest I've turned into its own definition. So let me show you that in the pie chart. So that's what I've done. I've taken this function, update, line, find, and then I've created this other new one called um, demo map plotlet. And at the end, it calls it kind of like, I don't know, constructor, whatever you want to call it. All right, so <laughs> from there, we do that import I just showed you here. Let me just uh, copy it in. Now, there's this uh, function in MATLAB called pi. You gotta make sure that that runs. You can see here at the top, it's like undefined variable pi or pi command. So if I do pi, it runs okay. So when I do that import lib or import lib, this guy right here, and then the proper uh, definition you'll see I'll be able to run it. So wish me luck here. So we are going to run test net plot lib. Um, I think that's all we need. Okay, so that should run it. Uh, so it has loaded it. Hmm. 
was able to, oh, maybe, maybe it's a different one. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe it's this one then. Import lib, import lib. Um, so the question is, can I run it? So maybe I'm now experimenting here. So if I go pi test that plot lib, and that should run it. Pi my map plot test map plot lib. Maybe I gotta run the function of that called demo. See if this runs. There you go. Well, kind of did. Runtime visual, blah blah blah. Something I didn't like here. Um, bad file descriptor. Print. Report exception. I think we've hit some kind of limitation on what we can do within plot my plot lib. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we have to close the program. Let's see here. Uh, well, it ain't responding. Yikes. Okay, so our matplotlib just died. So, let me load up the, um, the matplot on the matlab again. Um, probably not, this could be a Windows problem. Let's see what happens here. Maybe I should get a better demonstration. Uh, live and direct with errors. Uh, let's see, what can we put in here? Uh, maybe a NumPy demo. NumPy tests, or example. Quick start tutorial. Uh, let's try that one. Okay. Um, quick sort. Quick sort. Um, what we can do is we can do PyCharm. We want our PyCharm. Now we're in PyCharm. Create a new Python file, call it the uh, numpy test, I don't know, something like that. Okay. Um, This doesn't take forever to run. Okay, uh, we'll do a quick sort. So what we're creating right now is obviously a quick sort uh, MATLAB. Sorry, MATLAB function. Let's give that a whirl and see if that works. Okay, run it. Oop, no. We want quick sort. All right, this one. Run numpy quick sort. Okay, so that is now run. Okay, uh, let's try running that. Okay, import. Right name. NumPy test. Wrong. Help to have the right test. NumPy test. All right. Import NumPy test. 
they're using NumPy test no module. <coughs> NumPy test, where are you? Pi import module NumPy test. Oh, well that would help if to be in the right current directory. Okay, let me just go to here. We want user me pi charm. ETR, that's where we want to be. Okay, so let's rerun that. Okay, so it looks like it ran it okay. So does that mean PI? Let me just make sure we're doing it correctly. Import lib. Okay, so we're going to do numpy test. And what was the name of the function? Python list with properties. So it looks like it ran it okay. So our outcome one 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 two three six eight ten. Yeah, it looks like it ran it okay. So that's our answer. So if I now put a result of x equals making that a matrix, now x is a Python list with properties. So X is so, but if I do Y equals one, it's been a while since I've used Python. This might not work. Oh, it did. Okay, so, okay, so what we have here is in our workspace, we have a regular, that's a double. Um, that looks like a matrix. And here, it's a list. Interesting. But I just wanted to show you that you can run Python scripts and then have them intertwine with your MATLAB workspace. So it looks like we've kind of remotely had success, but I swear, I swear I was able to run this matplotlib um, animation example as well. But there are some limitations of what you can do uh, in MATLAB with Python, so maybe I hit it, I don't know. But I just want to show that to you, that you can somewhat use um, Python within MATLAB. And if you saw MATLAB now, it's much more advanced, um, the simulating and so on and so forth. But just check out some of the features of MATLAB. It's kind of cool. Hopefully, <coughs> that'll help you out somewhat and uh, you enjoyed uh, the live uh, action here. Talk to you later.